Uh, here he is, the fort. Justin, the fort Sumter is here live in the MMA holes. Let's do this. Let's take out Jason. Justin, what's going on, man? How you doing? Nothing much, nothing much, man. Just ready, ready to fight. We're ready to eat more than fight, but, you know, ready to fight as well. Justin, I was just talking about this real quick, and then we're going to get into what's going on. I was talking about when DC grabbed Rumble's head. Did you see this? He grabbed Rumble's head and just lifted it up and like, give me that fucking neck. Did you see that thing? I was like, what yeah, the Yeah, yeah, yeah. When he, when he was going, um, like he softened him up with punches, and then he, I like how he, he switched sides. I didn't, I didn't really understand what, you know, Rumble was doing, like, because I, 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 well, you know, I could, there's a lot you can say when you're not fighting. Um, but uh, in that situation, I would have, you know, just w worry about the hands. You know, if someone has your back, just worry about the hands and, and you're good. So, but, yeah, it was yeah. crazy. It really was crazy. I mean, I, I did see it was going to go this route. I mean, I don't understand what Rumble. Rumble just seemed like he retired. It seemed like he, his head wasn't even in the game. He just he kind of was done before the fight even started. So what are your thoughts on how he fought that? Uh, like, I, I kind of, I, I thought what he was going for was, you know, he, he would strike with him, clinch up, push him against the cage, and that way keep him at a, a um, distance where you break off and then you land power, power shots. That's what I thought he was going to go for, but um, it didn't seem like that. It seemed like he really wanted to take him down, um, and that's just, you, you don't take him down unless, you know, you have that, uh, that you know that, that that idea in your head that you will take him down right then in that second. Um, I just think he kind of went around uh, around it the wrong way. Yeah, he definitely did. So, all right, guys, we got his opinion on the Rumble DC thing. Now let's talk some business. Justin the Fort Sumter's here. Justin the Fort Sumter is a friend of the show. Justin the Fort Sumter has a huge fight coming up. And Justin the Fort Sumter has been everywhere. I've been seeing him doing interviews all over the place. Man, oh man, I just saw that you did an interview today, if I'm not mistaken. Look at you, yeah, man. Yeah. You're a superstar. I'm not, I'm not a superstar yet. You know, uh, I just, uh, you know, take the opportunities as they come. Uh, WNTH. Uh, here in New Haven, they they are real good um, uh, friends and fans of mine. So they love doing stories about me, especially Nick as well. So um, just you know, keep keep my um, my fan base happy, you know, and, and and increase my fan base. Well, listen, you look you're looking smooth over here. I have the Instagram pulled up where you're just sitting there with a big smile on your face, like yeah, come on, interview this guy because you know I'm a superstar. <laughs> <laughs> Did Prosper go along with you on the ride with this one? Yeah, 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 yeah. They were, um, like, actually, they were doing it while they took some shots of me training, and then they did did a, a, um, a interview after I got done training. Justin Sumter is here. Justin Sumter, I'm telling you guys, this guy is the real deal. Not only are you hearing this from me, but every time we have a guest on and we bring you up into the conversation, they're like, wait, this guy is legit. He is no joke. And he has a fight coming up on Saturday night. Now explain to us, this is at CES, correct? It's at CES, the North Shore uh, Music Theater, um, which is going to, um, unfortunately, like I just got the news like freaking, um, let me see, was it like yesterday or the day before? They act actually, it's going to be on a streaming service. It's called Flow Combat. Um, they do a lot of their, um, the ACDC, well, not the ACDC, the ACC. What is it? A grappling tournament. Um, they do a whole bunch of grappling tournaments on there. Um, it's a, it's a well-known um, uh, streaming service, but with such is like you you have to 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 pay for it and stuff like that. But I'm gonna find a way to where I can stream it on my um, Facebook account. So if anybody's out there and they want to see it, um, just stay tuned to my Facebook and they and I'll have a, a link where they can watch it on there. Oh, that'd be great. So you're saying someone's going to kind of simulcast on your Facebook account the actual fight live? Not officially. Oh, okay. All right. Well, <laughs> listen, when you know, let us know, and, and I'll try yeah. to spread the word as soon as possible. Uh, I hope we can get to see this. That'd be awesome. I was pumped up. When I when I put up your uh, your thing on Instagram, I did notice that it was somewhere else. I'm like, ah, oh, shit, I had to take the Axis hashtags off because I didn't want to give them any false promotion, those, those cucks. 
<laughs> you didn't need them anyway, Justin. They're gonna they're gonna be regretting not not putting you on that channel because you're gonna be killing people inside a cage. Yeah, so it's um Yeah, I'm just I'm just ready, man. I, it's like being on live TV is good, but you know, like for me it's just about getting in, in there and fighting, man. Like I, I just haven't um it's been like six months since I, I fought and my last fight was like 30 seconds the fight before that 23 seconds so i just you know i just like being in there is it me or does it seem like there is always something there is always something when it's fight week for you i mean you can't catch a break i mean listen knock on wood everything seems like it's smooth and going strong and i'm knocking away so i'm not jinxing anything but doesn't it seem like every time something comes up it's like is it bad luck or is it just what like what what do you think the reasoning is for this um, yeah, I mean, like, it's just stuff happens, man. Like, I, I don't take any, any uh, offense or, or take anything to heart like that. You know, I just, you know, roll with the punches. Um, basically, you know, like, there, there's, and I have this theory, like, things will always go wrong. And n having that thought in your head, no matter how good things are happening, you know something's bound to happen that's not going to be favorable favorable for you at that per period in time. But with a, a good outlook, you you kind of um, look over that. You know what I mean? Oh well, that's okay. You know what I mean? I'm just going to keep moving forward. So you know, it is what it is. You know, no worries. That's it. That's that's the good mindset to have, man. You're always in good spirits, and I mean, you. That's that's the best way to think, especially in the business that you're in, the fight business, the hurt business. You got to be smooth and, and in control, and it seems like you got that down down packed. Yeah, I try to. I try to. At least sometimes I catch myself, but you know, I, I try to. Now, I had uh, Jason Showers on earlier. He seems like he's very focused. Right now, Wednesday night, the fight is coming up. Level 1 to 10, 10 being the most nervous. Where are you right now about this fight? Uh, I'm, I'm cute, cool as a cucumber. Um, I don't really get nervous. Uh, like, you know, not to say I don't think about, like, oh, did I do this right? Do I do, do, do that right? But um, I kind of have in my head that, Everything I've done up until this point in this camp, I've done successfully and I've done right. And I think having that mindset and having that mentality, um, there's no questions when you go in the cage because questions um, lead you to think. And when you're in the cage and you're not, you're not just performing, you're thinking, you kind of get, um, I don't want to say you get confused, but you kind of get tied up on, on what you should do. And um, in my training camp, we, we did what, I, what I'm going to do. And all I got to do is just, just follow through with that. Yeah, that's it. So Saturday night is coming. You're about to take care of business. Um, same walkout song. What do we got going on here? You have anything special surprise for the fans or what? Um, it's, 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 it's a, a, a toss up. You know I mean? I, I, I was thinking about going with the one I, I usually go with, but then I, I've been digging this one song. So um, I think it's just going to be a game time decision. Um, on exactly what song I should um, going to come out to, um, so we shall see. We shall see. How about the Keep girlfriend? The girlfriend going to this fight? Is she nervous? What's going on with her? Uh, she she's good. You know, she she like she she gets excited, and then when she gets there, she gets nervous, and then after she's all right. So you know, you get those the, that roller coaster of emotion um, that she has, but uh, she seems to be doing good. You know, she's just ready for me to to to, to fight because you know she she. She hasn't seen me fight in a while, so, you know, and I've been having these camps all this time and, and still not fighting. That, that kind of kind of puts a toll on her as well, um, but uh, she's super excited. So uh, let, me, let me get into that real quick. So now, I mean, how long have you guys been dating for now? Um, about, it'll be... It's like the worst question to ask a guy because I, I can't remember two dating. And half, two and a half years. Two and a half years. All right. So a long time. She's been she's been through the song and dance before. She's she's been through the runaround. Are you difficult? Like when you're in a weight cutting situation or you're in a camp situation, you gotta have that different mindset. Is it difficult to to maintain a relationship when you're in those situations? Is it tougher or you got it down under control? Um, I would like to say I have it down and under control, but um, I kind of don't. Uh, <laughs> you know, like I, I don't. You know, like they, they say, a lot of people they get cranky. Um, when they cut weight and stuff like that, but you know, I have a system where um, it's it's kind of not it's 
it doesn't really affect me that much. I, I know what I got to do, and and um, I, it's not. I, I don't really get cranky when I cut weight. Um, just when my schedule kind of is more stringent. So you know, I have to be at training at this time. I have to you know th do th this, that, and the other. Um, that kind of puts a little toll um, on the. Uh, the actual, you know, relationship. But, you know, I, I try my best and, and try to stay in tune with um, what uh, she's telling me and what I'm getting from her and try to, to you know, make it work and, and make it uh, um, a wonderful, wonderful relationship. So Wonderful, wonderful relationship. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so tell me about your opponent. Now tell me, how much do we know about this guy? Is do you know anything about this guy? As it gets a little bit closer, is he like a badass fighter? Is he someone that has like a little edge, a little attitude? Is he a re respectable fighter? What are we looking to see in an opponent here? Well, um, what I've heard from Nick, Nick is a um, Nick said he, he's actually friends with him. Um, he's met him several times before, um, but he says he's he's a uh, gritty grinder type guy. Um, he has uh, good submissions. Um, he hasn't fought since 2014, but I'm not, I don't, I don't, I don't really, um, you know, hold that against him because, you know, like he's probably had something that he had to do and that's why he stepped away from the cage, but he's coming back. Um, I expect him to be in his, the best shape as possible, um, coming out there definitely for the win, but, um, just in my training camp, you know, I, I train to, to the best of my ability and, and, um, to my strength. So. Um, when we get in the cage, it's going to be um, me imposing my will against him. Um, uh, but I, I hear that he's a good guy, and you know, like likewise, I like to think of myself as a good guy. So we're just going in there to, to do business, and you know, um, if it happens uh, that after the fight we grab a beer, we grab a beer. So. All right, so it seems like you both are respectable people. It looks like it's going to be a cordial fight. Now, you said Nick. Guys, if, you, if you're just tuning in right now, Nick Newell we're talking about. Um, how long have you been training with Nick Newell? Nick Newell, badass. He's been fighting for a, a while and, and uh, seems like a very intelligent person when it comes to the sport. How long have you been training with Nick? Uh, I've been training with him since, uh, I would say, in May will be a year. Oh, okay, great. So you feel yeah. like you feel that this is the home right now. You feel so comfortable, FAA. I always see you rocking the gear. Is this is this where you want to stay throughout your career? Do you feel that this is the spot? This is home for Justin Sumter. Yeah, definitely, definitely. I feel like there it's it's well suited. Like my 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 skill set, um, it's well tuned to what I need to to progress in the sport. Um, you know, granted, like there's definitely going to be some cross training in there. Um, I, I'll cross train, you know, with with anybody depending on the fight and but you know home base and home camp um FAA definitely is where it's at FAA for uh, for the long haul it looks like you guys have a good relationship it looks like you got some killers coming out of that uh that uh that spot over there it looks like some some good names anyone that we should look out for in FAA anyone to keep an eye um, on one keep a, keep out eye out for Joe uh Michalinski. um Unfortunately, he ha he's having the same um, problem as me. Is no one will will fight him. Um, we we were trying to get him on the CES card. Um, he was going to fight up in weight class at 185, uh, but the, supposedly that guy got you know hurt his eye or something, so he couldn't fight. But uh, Joe Mik Mikulinski. We also got Steve Morrell, who had an awesome fight at Reality Fighting. Um, his first fight. Got a standing ovation out of the whole um, crowd at Mohegan Sun. Um, like those two guys, we got um, Constantine G uh, me Constantine G. I'll say that I can't really pronounce his last <laughs> name. Uh, uh, he he's a, a standout. He's, he's getting back in shape, but he's a, definitely a standout guy. Either at one eighty five or one seventy. Um, looking to make his pro debut. And then we got Sam Wofford, who just joined up. Um, I trained with him, uh, used to when I was at Henzo's. He's actually fighting in Bellator um, next week, so I'm going to go out there and corner him. Um, but, uh, yeah, we, we got some guys, and, and the camp's only getting bigger and bigger. And um, we also have a camp out in um, Springfield. So in combination of these schools, we're, we're basically going to really take over New, take over New England and uh, MMA in New England, so um, FAA is on, on the rise. 
looking like they're doing big things. I'm sorry now. I just realized that you just were looking at a avatar. Now I can see my big stupid face. Sorry about that. <laughs> well, I got Facebook up on the on the screen. So oh, okay, like, good, I'm, good. Yeah, I hate you know. Yeah, I hate not being able to like kind of look at you guys when I speak to you guys. But man, on Facebook we're having so many issues. It's just driving me insane. But I feel I want to do something live, you know, and then I want to throw this onto YouTube as well, so the YouTube people can see it. And uh, yeah, YouTube's giving giving us some trouble, Justin. You can't, you're not allowed to sign with the UFC because they they don't like us right now. <laughs> what, what, what you can't do? You can't sign with the UFC because they don't like the MMA holes right now. They're not getting uh, along with us. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> There's some drama. There's actually law drama going on between the MMA holes and the UFC. Isn't this great? Smart. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. I won't put you in harm's way. So now I was talking to Jason before, Jason Showers, and he was saying how uh, we were talking about amateur, the difference between amateur and pro fighters. And I think this is something to talk about with some of the people because I didn't really know much about this myself. The difference, like once you become pro, what happens? What, like, how important is it to become a pro fighter? And Jason Showers is hustling. He's really, I mean, he looks like he has a lot of potential. Um, and the, the, the hunger, the struggle, like, what, what is it like being an amateur fighter and then finally getting that call that you're the pro, you're, you went pro? What does it feel like? Uh, it feels good. Um, it's more of uh, it's kind of like a feedback where I can hear myself while I talk. Let me see. But um, it's. Like you have to have that that anticipation of, of going pro. You have to have like the, the people around you. Uh, and I, and and what Jason's doing is, is is perfectly the right way to do it. Um, you know, you you have a spectacular fight, and you have to build that audience around you. People that are going to follow you. Like when when I was um, still amateur. Uh, you know, I, I had a big following down south. Um, you know, everyone everyone liked me down south, but coming up here, um, I, it was kind of hard because I was was planning on trying to turn pro um, the year I came up, but no one knew me. So uh, just having that, um, you know, a, a audience that are willing to stick with you and and follow your ride to success. Um, that was the, the what I look for the most with turning pro. Um, it was kind of hard up here, but you know what I mean. I, I kind of found found my my niche and found my groove, and um, you know I was, I was able to do that successful, um, even with a uh, a pro debut loss. Um, but uh, just the fan base, just having the fan base follow you. That's that was my most um, exciting moment um, as I went pro. You know, what I mean people uh, that were following me and they were like giving me encouragement and um helping me along the way i see caleb so there's not many people in the chat but i did notice caleb, caleb templeman's here welcome and says when you're streaming open the facebook watch page to check uh the chat i do see you guys you know i may not see you much because there's like four or five people watching but okay. i am keeping an eye every once in a while on there and if i miss your comment you could fucking jump through the computer and slap me in my stupid beard uh, but I appreciate all the watching that are watching over here. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what quality. I mean, quantity. It's quality, and that's what we are. We're a quality show, especially when we have a guy like Justin Sumter hanging out with us over here. So, Justin, the fight is this weekend. It's Saturday night. You're smooth. You're calm. You're ready to go. You just want to get in the cage and get to work. Uh, what do we get to look forward to? Any predictions, or are you just going to keep it a surprise? Um, you know, like. When I get in there, I'm, I'm looking for a finish. Uh, expect a finish. Um, you know, uh, I, I can't speak to is it going to be quick or is it going to be a long fight. Um, just expect a finish. Because, um, you know, I mean, that's I have a 100% finish rate in my wins from amateur to, to professional. So um, that's what I'm looking forward to do. That is a dangerous stat right there when all the W's have a fatality in it. So that is some scary stuff to the opponents. You think they they're, they're shaking in their boots right now? Um, hopefully not too much. So they so some of them will fight me, but um, you know, just enough to to make them question: Do I really want to do this? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, listen, Justin. We wish you the best of luck. I, I'm so happy that you came on on this beautiful Facebook live stream. Um, I definitely feel good things for your future, and we're always going to be in your corner. Is there anything you want to say to the MMA holes? as you bid everyone farewell. 
Uh, um, thank you guys for the support. Thank you guys for coming um, coming on and one supporting me as well as MMA holes, especially on the Facebook Live. Um, uh, just you know, if, if you haven't f followed me on um, Instagram, Twitter, or, or Facebook, you know, do that. Justin the Fort Sumter. Um, also, um, keep an eye out after this. I am going to um, post the link. Um, uh, I'll send it to you probably. Uh, I'll send it to you Saturday. So. So one after the fight, you can just post it for the tap cancer out, um, just to to let people know what's going on. Um, what tap tap cancer out is is a uh, organization that was created to um, help cancer research. All the proceeds go to cancer research. It's kind of like um, I set up a GoFundMe. I put a, a total that I want to reach. You can I can exceed the total if possible. Um, but people just donate money, and all that money goes to cancer research. So it's a really good cause. Um, if you're in the Stratford area or, or Connecticut area and you want to grapple, it's a gi tournament. So um, definitely come check it out. That's awesome, man. I was, you know, I wanted to ask you about that. We spoke about it last time. We got a little more information. Yeah, any information you get, yeah, send it my way. I'd love to uh, to spread it out. You know, I, I found out re recently, and I saw that you you followed Tim. What's his name? T Man. T Man on yeah. YouTube. Uh, guys, on the on our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash the MMA holes, go on there, feature channels. T Man is on there. He's a good story, man, a good soul. And you know what was cool about that, Justin, is I got to see a softer side of the MMA holes. I got to see people go over there and instead of spew hate, they went over there and actually picked this kid up. And um, yeah. it was cool to see you in there too, Justin. That was awesome to see you pop in there and say hello to him too. Yeah, he had some good tunes. He had some good tunes. Right? So, I mean, yeah, what a what a, a DJ. Up. <laughs> the guy the guy is he's i think he's gonna be the next up-and-coming youtube dj for sure man uh, <laughs> I, I didn't know there was, was youtube uh youtube djs but that's pretty cool that was a, that's a good idea right i tell you what there's some times when he comes on i literally beam it to my tv or on the radio and i actually have him on as the radio have it in the background you know maybe i'm not watching but i'm still listening to it he's like a He's like, I'm like, all right, I can listen to some of this stuff. Not too yeah. bad, not too bad. So, yeah. who knows? Who knows? He might have, he might have stepped onto something. He must have stumbled onto something there. Yeah, definitely. So yeah, so send us, uh, send us any information you get on that, and I'll definitely uh, be sure to uh, spread that around. And um, it's always a pleasure having you on, Justin. Best of luck, and um, you don't need it. You, you got this. Yeah. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully. I mean, like, I'm, I'm just going to go in there and do my best. I'm just go in there and do my best. All right, Justin Sumter, ladies and gentlemen, there, there he is on the MMA Holes Live. It's always a pleasure having my buddy Justin on. Con good luck, buddy. Thank you, thank you. All right, there he is, Justin Sumter. It's always a pleasure talking to Justin. Justin always kills it. He always does a great job on the MMA Holes. Uh, what a guy, man. What a nice guy. Hey.